What's up, Rozones? Welcome to the Ozone, and welcome to another video today. We are looking at the Security Breach trailer a little bit in depth. Um, today we're going to be looking at a tiny portion of it, really. Uh, but we're going to be going through um, a lot of different parts of the recent trailer that we got, and a few more things that we got as well uh, over the coming few days. Um, the release of Security Breach is the 16th of December. 2021 so right now we have about five weeks from when i'm recording this uh five weeks i actually saw a tweet i think it said it was 41 days um so that's not quite five weeks well done ozone we're gonna be looking at near the end of the trailer actually one of the last things that we see is this jump scare scene it's it's one of my favorite things in this trailer because it's so random like it doesn't fit with the rest of the trailer it, why is it here what are these creatures doing here why are we being jump scared by loads of them um just kind of what the hell are they i will say if you want to recap uh it 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 is the same kind of screenshot that we see in freddy and friends episode one um, we didn't see a lot of the details, so we saw that it had eyes, we saw that it had a mouth, a lot of people thought that it had a long tongue, but no, that was just part of Bonnie in the background, because it was kind of overlaid on top of the Freddy and Friends episode, and a lot of people were like, who is this? Because there's a few defining features about them, firstly, the faces kind of look a little bit human, right? They, they kind of look like they have human aspects to them, uh, a lot of the um, animatronics that we see in Five Nights at Freddy's are big and bulky and kind of animals, uh, if, if you know what I mean. But this one is different in the fact that it, it doesn't look like any kind of animal. And so that led a lot of people to believe that it is Afton, but I really wasn't fond of that idea. And the reason I wasn't fond of it is because Afton it's kind of, in the past, it, a lot has kind of been signified by bunny ears or purple, I guess. Um, so that's kind of, I, I didn't think it was Afton at all, really. I kind of said it as well, but really on the inside, I wasn't too sure. And one of the reasons I wasn't too sure is because another one of the features, number two, is the fact that there's loads of them. Why would they be loads of Aftons unless he was actually creating this sort of Afton army by taking over people's minds and taking over the world? And although that would be kind of sick, I don't think it's what's going to happen. I think throughout the game we're going to get Vanny rebuilding uh, Afton and then Afton is going to be uh, kind of the big final boss of the game. So why are there a load of them? Maybe because... Um, a lot of them were built for different things. What would they be built for? Well, maybe they are the staff bots that we see in the trailers. We see a lot of these kind of faceless uh, bots moving around the, the pizza plex and they're kind of just there, you know? Like, why, why are they there? One of them's wearing a sombrero and a moustache. He's just there. I'm, I'm really curious if, if these are actually staff bots or not. But I think that's a really good theory because why else, like, surely they have to turn them into something, like, dangerous in the game. The, the staff bots can't just be there as robots and not be kind of corrupted by Afton and Vanny. That, you, you know what I mean, right? The staff bots kind of have to be corrupted. And I feel like this could be them, but the thing that puts me, put, like, takes me away from that theory is feature number three which is the fact that they look like puppets. They look like puppets. If you have a look closely at them in the last frames, uh, yeah, they, they sure do. They've got the big eyes, they've got the teardrops, they've got the big mouths that come right up. And <laughs> I don't know what to think about this. Firstly, I do want to say that this is sick. Like, these animatronics are really cool. Like, I actually really like the look of them. Um, they kind of remind me of mini arenas. So the way I think of this is these guys are like a combination of mini arenas, uh, Nightmare on, and I would say the staff bots in Security Breach as we've seen them normally. And I say that because there's a lot of them uh, and, and I feel like it could be a similar mechanism to kind of Night 4 in Sister Location when you've got all the mini arenas crawling up the... Uh, 
the the suit. I don't think it's going to be that mechanic, obviously, but it would be cool if we had something like that where you kind of have to flick off the bugs or something, <laughs> you know? So this is pretty cool, right? There's, there's a lot of cool things that we can talk about here. Possibly Afton, possibly uh, the staff bots, possibly puppets coming back. Is Charlie coming back? I'm not too sure about that. Um, I'm, I'm pretty certain that Lefty was in the fire, even though technically we didn't see Lefty in the fire, but that's, that's talk for another day. The point of Lefty was so that Henry would qu quite literally lure, encapsulate, uh, fuse, transport, and extract. Um, quite literally with the soul, extracting the soul, uh, burning uh, the suit, and of course setting Charlie free uh, to have her happiest day or whatever. So if these are controlled by the by by Charlie, um, I guess that'd be cool. But I, I I feel like Charlie's kind of gone now, you know. Um, goodbye, Charlotte. So I think we should look closer at these. We should we should analyze them a little bit more. And one thing I will say about these is if you look at the uh, the bodies, uh, they say in your dreams. That's really mysterious. And what does it mean, moreover? Like. It's really cool, and I and I really like that reference. It's it's a cool like FNAF-y kind of style thing to have written on the bodies, but what does it mean? Of course, could be a reference to Nightmare on. I don't see why in your dreams would be written on the bodies. Uh, maybe they are actually in a dream. Maybe they're not real. They're illusions or something. I don't really know. I haven't got much for this. But what I will say is that this does kind of lead on nicely to the fact that um, if these were the staff bots, where did the mouth and the eyes come from? Because the staff bots are just blank faces. There's no kind of uh, handiwork for the, the mouth and the eyes, you know, it's literally just blank. Well, if you look very closely, you'll see that the mouth and the eyes and everything else is painted on. And that's really weird. It's almost as if these guys went berserk, okay? Maybe there was a security breach inside of these kind of mechanisms and the staff bots, and they turned savage, and they're like, okay, time for a new look. And they did some kind of Picasso work on their faces. And then this is what they came up with. Um, taking reference from Night Marion. I don't know why they would do that. Uh, yeah, that's, that's actually a, a really good... Point. Like, why would they take, if that if that's what actually what's happening, that they're, they're taking kind of inspiration from the past and making themselves into it, why Nightmare On? What's so, what's so kind of prevalent about Nightmare On? Maybe the creators of Security Breed Steel just, just wanted to bring the puppet back because honestly, Puppet is such a cool, iconic character. We haven't seen much of her recently, kind of. She's not even in FNAF AR, like, I would have expected the puppet to be in FNAF AR. Anyway, yeah, I, I'm not too sure about this. So I'm, I'm gonna need you guys to tell me what you think uh, about this. I want you guys to tell me who do you think these guys are? What is their purpose? Why did they have in your dreams written on them? And why are they kind of painted? Uh, and why are they painted like Nightmare on? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. I would appreciate it a lot if you subscribed. Uh, thank you all for the ongoing support. I I really, uh, I'm just overwhelmed by it. It's, it's great. So thank you so much. And um, I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Goodbye.